Welcome back to another episode. All right, today I have a question on the board. All right, this is on physics. This is on physics. Okay, let's go. A spiral spring of natural length, 20 centimeter, has a scale pan hanging freely from its lower end. When an object of mass 40 gram is placed in the pan, its length becomes 22.8 centimeter. When an object is replaced, when the object is replaced with another mass 60 gram, the length becomes 22.05 centimeter. Calculate the mass of the scale pan. We are taking J as 10 meter per second square. Okay. Whew. I have solved this question before, right there on my YouTube channel. More reason why you need to be on that channel. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm getting the question again. Okay, I'm going to solve it again. And I'll use a simple method to solve it. Please just listen. All right, this is a um, underworld elasticity, Hooke's law. So the elastic material is the word, the spring. That is the spiral spring. Now, what was added to the spring is the what? The mass of the scale pan and the what? The load. Load of 40 and what? Load of what? 60. Okay. First of all, the spring. We added what? Mass of scale pan to it. And what? The load. Okay. All right. If, let me bring out a table. Let me bring out a table. Okay, we have the original length of the spring as what? 20.0 centimeter. Then let's say something like this. I have what load. I have what the new length and the extension. The extension. Okay. So what are the load? The load on the what? The spring. The load on the spring is what? The mass of the scale pan. Let's, let's call it ms for mass of the scale pan. And the first one is what? 40 gram. 40 gram is placed on the what? The spring. So these are this is the load on the spring, the first one. And then we have a, a new length, a new length of what? 21.0. What? 21 point, okay, 21 point 8. Okay, this uh, load is in what? Gram. Put it in gram. Why the new length is in what? Centimeter. Of course, the extension will be in what? Centimeter. Since we are using centimeter. Okay, so this is the new length. All right, how do we get the extension? The extension is equal to a new length minus what? Original length, which is the natural length. So if I subtract this from this, so it's 1.8 minus 20.0. I will get 1.8 as the extension in what centimeter. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. What is the next load on the what? The spring. It was replaced. Now we'll put 40, 40 load and then we'll replace it with what? 60 load. So the load on the spring, the total load on the spring is what? The mass of the scale pan plus what? 60 gram. And then we have a new length, a new length of what? This is the new length, 22.05 centimeter. How do we get the extension? Extension will be 22.0 minus 20. We are going to have 2.05 centimeter. Okay, now this is what we have. Remember this equation, this equation. Please subscribe to my channel. Remember the equation. F1 over E1 is equal to what? F2 over what? E2. Now, this is the same thing as saying load over extension is equal to what? Load over what? Extension. So, what is the load? Now, that first is the same thing as load. What is the load? This is the load, the first load. This is the first extension, second load, second extension. The first load is what? Mass of scale pan plus what? 40 over first extension is what? 1.8 is equal to second load is what? 
mass of scape and plus what 60 over second extension is what 2.05. And then we are looking for what mass of what scape and. So what we do, just make mass of scape and subject formula. Finish. That's what we are going to do. So therefore, let me let me clean up this. Okay. So I remove this, this guy here. All right. Since we are going to make mass of scape and subject formula, we just do what? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. So therefore, this is going to multiply these. Then I'll have what? 2.05 times what? Mass of scape and plus 40. Ooh, I might have enough space. So equals to what? 1.8. Let me bring it here. It costs the 1.8 bracket mass of scale power plus what 40. Okay, now this is equal to this when we do what cross multiply. So let's move further. Let's open the bracket. If I open this bracket 2.05 times, I have what 2.05 what mass of scale power plus what 2.05 times 40. We we'll have a uh, 82 equals to 1.8 times mass of scale pan. I have 1.8 mass of scale pan plus 1.8 times 40. We have 108. Okay, now we have something like this. So, what we're going to do next, we collect like terms. We collect like terms. Now we take the one that have mass of scale power to one side, take these numbers to the other side. So I have what 2.05 mass of scale power minus 1.8 mass of scale power is equals to what do I have here? 108. Let me put it here. 108 minus what? 82. All right, 2.05 minus 1.8. Eight mass of scale pan, I'm going to have 0 0.25 equals to 108 minus 82. That will give us 26. Okay, sorry, I'm going to have 0 0.25 what mass of scale pan equals to what 108 minus I'll have what 26. Okay. Now we are looking for what mass of scale pan. So therefore, mass of scale pan is equal to what 26 divided by what 0.25. And I have the mass of scale pan as what 104. And what do we have it in what? Gram. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this word episode. Please subscribe to the channel. I remain your favorite tutor. Uh, take note of this that uh, the mass of scale pan, uh, we calculate mass. Mass is in a um, kilogram, but we are using gram. Okay. If you know how to convert gram to kilogram, convert 104 gram for me. Drop your answer to convert 104 gram to kilogram for me. Drop your answer in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you.